Hello from Arizona. My name is Cal and I want to welcome you to Tough Trails. Okay. All right, so in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to take a Suzuki Sidekick that we just bought. We just found it off of Craigslist. We got the trailer, we went and we got it, and we brought it home. And what we're doing with it is we, first thing we do is we take it out and we test it out. We test the steering and the brakes and the lights, and we test the transmission and the engine. We look for leaks and squeaks, those kinds of things. And then we'll take it over to the wash and we'll go climb some hills with it to check out the transfer case and how the four wheel drive system operates. And then when we're done with that, if it passes those tests, then we go ahead with our build or our upgrade or our enhancement. Let's just call it an enhancement because that's really what it is. And we're going to do a two inch body lift. We're going to do a two inch suspension lift. We're going to fix some damaged CBC boots on our front axles. We're going to add a target top to it and a CB radio. And we're going to take the damn bumper covers uh, off of it, the plastic bumper covers off it. We're going to lose them in the desert anyway. And then we're going to do a rattle cam paint job. And then when we're done with that, we're going to go test it out and play with it. So stay tuned. Let's get this episode going. Here we go. It starts now. Okay, before we get this episode started, I just want to point out that even though we make several comparisons between the Suzuki Sidekick or Geo Tracker and say a Jeep or a, a Ford Bronco or a Toyota Land Cruiser or, or some other vehicle like that, even a side-by-side, -side, the Geo Tracker and the Suzuki Sidekicks, the Vitaris, the Scudos, those, they're not Jeeps. They're just not. They don't even compare to what a new Jeep or a new Bronco is or their capabilities or what they can do. So the question that you have to ask yourself is, what is your goal? What is your, your mission? Is it, is it a budget? Is it, is it financial? Is it, is it a cost? Is it where you want to go? Are you just a part-time off-roader? Is this uh, something that is a hobby for you? Or, or those kinds of things. Or are you full on into overlanding and off-roading and those kinds of things? And you, you need to kind of weigh that a little bit. So like, like I said, even though we make the comparisons a lot of time, a geo tracker is a geo tracker. This is a geo tracker. And this, see that? That's a Jeep. See, I was a Jeep guy. I was a Jeep guy for a long, long time. This is an old, old CJ5 that I'm going to eventually uh, put these two parts together and I'm gonna make me one little Frankenstein buggy out of both of these, okay? So, anyway, I just wanna point that out. Suzuki Sidekicks, Geo Trackers, they're their own kind of thing. Uh, and that's what this episode is about. So I'm not, I don't want you to think I'm bagging on another brand or, or, or another manufacturer's name or, or what another person drives or anything like that. That's not it at all. What we're trying to focus on mostly is the affordability of the Geo Tracker and the Suzuki Sidekick. <clears throat> it doesn't break budgets, okay? You're not having to mortgage your house. You're not trying to, to, you're not trying to grab money from your kid's college fund or your daughter's wedding, you know, that kind of money and stuff, all right? So that's what we're doing here is you're just trying to keep this reasonably affordable but so that you can have fun my biggest attraction that i have to the geo tracker and the suzuki sidekicks second to the fact that they're so affordable and easy to work on is that they're fun i'm an older guy i'm, I'm a boomer i'm in my 60s i'm retired i've already climbed the hill i've already played king of the hill i've already went out there and and, and climbed that rock I've played the game, who's got the big dick? I've already done that, okay? I'm an older guy now. I just like to go out and get away from it all and explore the desert and find a new adventure somewhere or something like that. So without any more of that gibberish, let's get this episode going. Let's go. Right here, seats, no tears, no rips. Really nice, automatic, and it has 177,000 miles on it, or 77,000, I'm not sure. So, that's kind of what it looks like. Let me get back a little bit more. With the damn sun, the angle of the sun's not giving us a very good shot. There we go. So, that's kind of what it looks like. So you can see it's, it's pretty straight. And then if I can get under the hood, Okay, and there's your motor. And this is a very complete and uh, uh, motor as far as it looks. I mean, it's a little dusty in here, but as far as things go and components, it's very clean. So, 80 screaming horsepower. I think this is actually, uh, you know, I want to say it's a 92, 93 maybe. So, 
that's what we would start with. You see the top. This may have been a hardtop car because it's got this rubber on it. So we might be able to find a hardtop for it so we can convert it to a hardtop. That way your stuff would be uh, secure and stuff when you're out messing around. Okay? Sorry it's a shitty video, but uh, sun's in my eyes. Maybe now this one. Check it out. Oh, she climbs like nothing. Is it did pretty good? <laughs> Yeah, she did pretty good. No spin tires or anything. You can feel the low gear in this one. You can feel you're in low right now. Yeah. So, that was pretty sandy right there. Yeah, we might let's see. Spin, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Piece of cake. You got room? Yeah, I'm gonna come on that side so I can line up with that hard one. All right, cool. Where's the seat? It's brand new. This is better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you saw that? Man, that thing is very good. Some companies that you can actually buy a uh, prefabricated body lift kit for these sidekicks and trackers. 
will come with these plates that you can put on which will reposition your your bumper your front bumper if you want to use your same bumpers and your bumper covers so that's one way to do it <laughs> Let me get down off of this and let me come back and film you, okay? Airport, we got you on camera too. 